Shalom, earth and water sign energies. <laughs> I hope you're doing fantastic. Um, I have been doing, sorry, I have been doing uh, combo readings today. And um, happy new year to you. Uh, if it is your birthday, happy birthday. If it's an anniversary, happy anniversary. Um, so these energies for the first... Uh, <laughs> first set of readings that I've been doing for the new year have been quite the energy people really quite the energy I just did earth and air and uh, oh my goodness that was powerful reading the energy was just something else on there um, but anyway guys welcome 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 back those of you who are returning I appreciate you all thank you for being a part of my channel I sure appreciate you thank you for um, uh, just bearing with me knowing that I feel the energy and how hard it is on me. I'm sure it's hard to hear sometimes. Um, I just appreciate you all, and I don't say that enough. So just thank you so much uh, for being a part of this channel. And those of you who are new, welcome. Listen, I know you're just now getting to know me. Um, it is very intense, as I'm sure you've already come across a couple of videos that are just really intense. Um but if, if you are brand spanking new, never ever hearing me before, welcome. My name is Shannon, and uh, I am not uh, churchy or religious, but I could come across real, real heavy that way. I'm just very spiritual. Uh, the living language is uh, found within the tarot, and so I use the language, living language of the Hebraic um, scripture because it's part of my lineage, and uh, I use the scripture itself. Um, because it's truth, and I've, I'm just a part of that, and so that's just who I am. Uh, we must weigh everything out, but I'm just spiritual. I'm not churchy or anything like that, but I really could come across that way. I am connecting with Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. I love him. He is my Yeshua, my salvation, and there's none beside him. He's the only one that can fight our battles, people, and I just get out of the way and let him talk. And uh, I got homemade decks, if you are new, that I use. And we look at all kinds of stuff. Heavy, revy stuff. Moral laws that some people should never, ever cross. Not one of the readings had somebody was under judgment for sleeping with their aunt. Okay, and there's some things that you just don't do. And so I got stuff that you always had me write down, uh, write out of scripture, and it's still living today. And so it is what it is. And we've been going through judgment type of energy. We are in the judgment day, so it is what it is. Um, but if that's not something you're looking for, that's where you're going to click off. Otherwise, welcome. Let's just go ahead and get started, guys. So, if you got heavy earth or water placements, obviously everybody has these elements in their chart. And so just take these energies or the scenario of whatever Jehovah wants to speak about or reveal and uh, do your part, transmute whatever needs to be transmuted in the things that need to be ended. Forgive yourself, forgive others, move on down the road past stupid stuff that's been coming out. And uh, let's bring our planet up, man, to a place of heavy vibration of love. Because there ain't no other way, people. This, this crap that's been coming across my table, it ain't working no more, people. It just ain't. It's time to get some stuff cleared the crap out of the way and to come up higher than this stuff that's been coming out today. I did not expect this type of energy to really, off the top of the bat, just come out. It's really time to to do some major cleaning, people. It really is. Yoba, I just appreciate you. What do you want to bring out here, please, for earth and water energy? Yehova, just rebuke and bind and block every foul, demonic, wicked, dark energy right here, right now. Every warlock, familiar spirit, witchcraft energy. We just command you by the name of Yehovah Elohim to go straight down to the pit of the lower parts of the earth. Where those chains of darkness are waiting and reserved for you right here, right now. Spirit of Cain. We command you to get out of the earth right now. We annihilate you in the spirit right here, right now in Yeshua's name. I thank you, Yehovah, for clear messages. I ask for wisdom to rest upon me for earth and water energy. All right. So we got water energy with the moon. So, and then let me just take the first um, card that I take that I see for earth. There we go. Okay, so we've got the Ten of Pentacles, large sums of it. And there has been, I'll just say, we know that there's been deception or money has been concerned. We do know that. Things have been very much emotional here around the home. 
hunting and chasing after things, and uh, there's been death, there's been, you know, lies, there's been, people have to really tap into their intuition to figure out a thing, we got children here with the moon, and um, inheritances, commitments are here, this is also love and romance energy with the moon, in the upright, um, not everybody's a freaking cheater and a liar and a thief, but we cannot take away people from this energy that Yehovah is um, bringing out for us to, to look at. So we've got the Tzadi in the Hebrew, and um, the letter T could be prevalent to you in your connection with whatever is the commitment is about, or the contracts, or the family, or the large sums of money, or the uh, inheritances that are around something. The 10 is also an ending. And some people, you know, have had some type of ending that's really pulled on them. It's really emotional. And I send you love and light. Show me the past. This is cycles of things that have gone on. Where people really um, have just really had some emotions around some stuff. Show me um, the past, please. <clears throat> Somebody's got deception around a mother situation going on. Okay, so the past, and we've seen the strength card in one of my other readings. I don't remember what combination. Just go watch your placements. Um, somebody's needing compassion. And this is the chet, right? And this represents in the Hebrew, passing from one space to the next. Um, we do have inheritances here, so we do know that there has been um, deaths, okay? It's been all over the world with the pandemic and all that stuff that's happened here. And the pictograph looks like a wall or a ladder. Something could have happened on a wall or a ladder or behind closed doors or something like that that's been very much emotional around the situation where there's something very physical attached to it. Um, you know, this is new births as well as goes to children and stuff like that. It's the letter H coming out here. Um, what's at the bottom of the deck? So work situation. Doesn't surprise me we've seen this energy coming out. So pentacles can go back to work stuff. And there's been deception around things that have been worked on where your home and your mother and your children and death situations have uh, been a, a situation going on, okay? I actually want to look at this word real quick. The word combination out here with the chet and the tzadi uh, represents uh, something that's been really dry like a desert. Well, money has been dry for a lot of people. And it's been real emotional because of death situations. Work has made... Uh, things just dry up in a real, you know, big way. Some people have been deserted because, well, if you can't supply money, well, I'm out of here then, honey. That kind of crap is really sad. You've got people that's got commitments that they didn't keep either. And they've just been real deceptive around some stuff, okay? At the same time, some people are going to have compassion and put some work in on some stuff. Then great. And some people tried to in the past and, and did or didn't have compassion. Then that's what showed them this past energy. Something that was worked on here or needed to be worked on or needed to have compassion with it. And there's some type of dry desert-like energy showing up in this past position. Um, there's a shout or complaining or crying kind of energy. Also, we've got children and things that, you know, were taking place in the past and that word is coming out here with that. So in the past, something was divided within the tent walls, or maybe you went camping or something out in the desert, or maybe you live out in the desert. I don't know where you live. I don't know what you do. But there was something that was divided here, and if we just want to take the tent wall as family, because it's really here, uh, and something was divided within inheritances, you know, behind closed doors and something here is showing it we have an arrow here now that's interesting i want to say that when the strength card was at the top of the deck uh, or at the top of the message in one of the other readings that we had the same word come out to divide something uh the the dart the arrow was there the flesh a wound was there um, some type of a weapon energy was there so somebody though you know uh physically did something uh, and something died that way I send you love and lie but also something has been divided or was you know divided in half whether that be maybe it was physical I mean given what we freaking know on my channel people 
um, we got people that do some real nasty stuff in the occult. Okay, we dress it all the time because you're always saying that crap's leaving the earth. But there is a dividing of the flesh energy here. There's also, if somebody lives down a gravel road as well, then gravel is here, is here as well. Um, there's also something on the outside that has taken place outside of your family within something on a highway for some of you all. We have a highway energy here, so somebody died and something's taken place, and then uh, that's what's showing out here in the past position. Let's let Yehovah just bring some words out here. You just pick it, Yehovah. A bus driver is here. So we have children here. And that was your work and something in the past is for compassion and children were concerned and something's happened here where it's been real emotional. In righteousness thou shalt be established for thou shalt not fear and terror shall not come near thee, saith Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. Yes, you're not going to have to, it, look, if you're walking with the great one, you don't have to fear. This goes back to fear energy. Thank you, Jehovah. Uh, a footstool is here. You know, if a child was on a footstool and something's taking place, and then so be it. The footstool's coming out here. Uh, we have a rough stone and an abrasive uh, rough scratching of some type of a stone or some type of a rough like stone. Uh, look, we got somebody actually engraving something here. Uh, whatever that is. That's just coming out. So there's some type of a stone energy here. Okay? Take it as you must. Interpret it as you need to. For some, that ain't going to mean nothing. That could be um, a ring. You know, a, a diamond stone or some type of a jewel stone or a gem or something like that. Okay? And something got um, scratched or something like that. And something's happened within the home and it was real expensive. Then Jehovah's bringing something out and uh, 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 addressing something here. And uh, whatever that is. Show me what's hidden. This hidden space can be something that was connected to the past. Obviously, it is going to be connected to the past, but it could be giving you a clue of something that was hidden because the moon is hiding things. Or it could be something in the hidden space that's still going on now for some of you all the tower. Well, so whatever's known is is also hidden. Something's hidden, but yet it's known. Something somebody seen. There's a disaster here, people. In the hidden, this is a paradigm shift. This is the ein. This is the letter. Um, Ein in the Hebrew, which is the pictograph of the eyeball. If something happened with the eye, then I guess it did. Um, this is knowledge of something in, in the secret. Some people are dealing with pride and ego kind of stuff. There's sexual things also in the hidden space as well. Uh, so I've seen the Six of Swords come out a couple of times. And so it's leaving trouble waters behind. Or there's some type of publicity energy. I will say, I want to say in the Greek... Um, language, the tower will go back to a preacher. And I'm only bringing that out because we had a TV evangelist come out on one of my readings and it was really coming out in the earth and the air reading again. And so it's here. And there was something going on with thou shalt not murder. We had people holding on to people's money and stuff like that. There's been deception around the home. So for some of you all, I mean, we've got the energy here uh, of earth energy here that was connected to that reading. So it is here. And this is a publicity card, and so it's, it's here. And so there's some type of, uh, in the ta watchtower, was there was somebody who was really put in under a bad trial. And another reading, somebody was hovering over something, because some people got some things to hide, man. Uh, this is deception here. Something was divided within some type of a disaster here, whatever that was, uh, on a trip, or there's secret trips, but yet they're known, or somebody's watching somebody who's traveling or needs to get out of trouble waters by some people have had a power paradigm shift in the in the secret and um they know about some things and they are finally being able to be set free this is truth setting somebody free as well let's see what's in the hidden as far as words go you hold up so somebody has a void within themselves and they're desiring to be filled and Jehovah's saying to call out upon him and he will send you the Holy Spirit. Okay, so those of you who aren't completely seared and detached, because this can be really detached energy. It's very prideful energy. And, and if you're in pride and ego, people, you are having a void on the inside, okay? And you're going to have to call out to you all, but all those who call out upon him, they really will be saved, okay? Because he's in the business of saving 
Even if he has to knock down your freaking pride, he'll lift you, leave the mind here. So this is all mental stuff going on here. Somebody did have a mental um, issue going on in one of my readings today. So we have an altar and sacrificing stuff. So like I said, we're dealing with some people that are dealing with the occult. And uh, something was split asunder, okay? And there's some type of trail uh, 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 that is connected to this desert or this wilderness. And I'm saying that because I know what came out in the Capricorn reading itself. is the Capricorn energy is actually the opposite side of the Cancer energy in the Zodiac, which is ruled by the moon in the Zodiac itself. So it's actually here. Uh, so something's taken place where a killing has taken place, maybe by the stone. Okay, there's an engra engraving rough stone somewhere possible um, for some of you all. And there's been some type of an, uh, 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 an offering that was given either by a, ch a child sacrifice. And we know that that's the, the, the truth for some people. Jehovah said he's judging that crap now. And some people are still doing animal sacrifices. But all the sacrifices people have already been done. Um, Jehovah has already sent his son and the ultimate sacrifice has already been done. People, wake up. This is a wake up call. All right, let me take one more. Um, the President of the United States is here. Well, let's pray for our leadership. Uh, Jehovah, please put your arm on the leadership and direct them in the paths that they should go for uprightness sake because you are the true leader of the earth. Okay, let's get some just extra. Um, well, let's get some extra cards out here. You know, Jehovah is the one who turns the heart of the king. Somebody's standing here at a crossroad. And um, this is just extra energy. It could be connected to what happened in the past. Or right now, somebody's trying to make a decision. I mean, obviously, if you stand there too, for too long, secretly, we're being shown that something is going to be known. Because this is a big blow up of something. This is literally a... a paradigm shift taking place this is a plotting card obviously somebody plotted something we've got some type of freaking sacrificing going on here and somebody's got a freaking void within themselves and they need to be filled and you're never going to be filled unless you call out for the holy spirit the ruach HaKadosh. okay you have what else for extra energy do you want to bring out here for uh earth and water energy Somebody does see something for what it is, though, for some of you all. Yeah. And then there is unity here. There is a decision here in the extra energy. But we've got an idiot full of pride and ego around some, some of your stuff. Let me just take some more energies here, Yehovah. You just pick it. Um, so we have a helmet here. And so if you're doing somebody who uh, wears a helmet in sports, then there you go. We have people playing stupid games at work. We have the work card here. So we have Jezebel here. It doesn't surprise me, people. Jezebel already came out today, and somebody was literally in their mind. We have somebody, obviously we know who Jezebel is. We talk about it all the time. There's somebody so freaking controlling and rebellious. And we got sacrificing things going on here, okay, on an altar. And this goes back to the Phoenician God. Somebody's just trying to be a master over their own husband and they're overbearing and they've been brooding over some stuff. This is furious energy here with this Jezebel spirit. Um, it's also making reference to um, somebody hairy and maybe your name is Harry. I don't know. But Esau was very hairy and we are dealing with that in the time of history as well. I want to go ahead and take from this uh, deck as well. You'll hope you just pick it. So, there's a lethal attraction. Yes, there is. I, I mean, somebody is out of control with that knight of swords that we just seen. That's rebellion, people. And uh, somebody's killed for that crap than they did. Okay? There's bad taste here. Well, obviously, Jezebel's here, people. <laughs> Um, Jehovah shall scatter the proud today. They, look, it's coming down. Jehovah's allowing you to see something in the secret that's going to be known. And it's coming down. It's coming straight from the heavens. And somebody's right eye is going to be put out. Just like the scripture states. Okay, they want to stay in that place. They want to sacrifice and, and do some nasty to the children and stay in a voided place and, and get in this lethal, attractive, nasty. You go right on ahead. You're going to scatter seven ways and beyond that. Jehovah says to go towards them today, whoever them is for you. And somebody's been trying to tell you, no, you can't. Yes, you can, because Jehovah's word uh, is over 
even the president of the United States people, if, if somebody's trying to stop you from doing something upright, uh, those people, they do not control you. Understand me? You do what Jehovah says to do. You got the Holy Spirit. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. People do not get to put up walls on you until you can't love your family or anything else. That's crazy. Somebody's a coke in their freaking head. And I'm not calling the president that. Um, I'm just saying. We got some people, though, that have been in leadership around the world. I mean, everything happens at the top, people. What happens at the top trickles down to the rest of the people. Okay? There's pride and ego here really bad. Okay? And needs to be knocked down. So the sun, the shamash came out. This is the third time I think I've seen this card today. Um, this goes back, or maybe it's the second. It's the third third time within maybe the week that it's come out this is a hot wind that's causing a desolation well you just go ahead and get ticked you're you're lethal and all of this and Jezebel's going to be scattered the proud's going to come down and uh, we're going to be glad that you're out man we're sick and tired of you stupidness there is a sickness here people there really is a sickness here I never knew that I'd love someone like this. And it's truthful and it's mutual. And somebody does know it energetically and or knowingly, physically. Uh, it's known. And somebody also knew, you know, and it's safe for you to love. But somebody's ex was the freaking problem. They're just a freaking nutcase and a half. And uh, they need to be put down something else. All right, people. This will come out for, for your energy uh, for the first time reading for 2021 it's amazing energy let, let us transmute this crap people let us lay the pride down and whatever it is and, and really have a paradigm shift and know who the great one truly is people other than that you're lost and you're out of here anyway because Jehovah's showing he's, he's just really going to knock some people down off their high horse shalom